regardless of your application, whether it's in a hunting environment, tactical environment, or a target environment, comfort and fit are two of the most important factors in making sure that your rifle and yourself are set up uh, for being as accurate and repeatable as possible. Now, most modern chassis systems like this Vision chassis have uh, com uh, fit down to a T. They have adjustable cheek pieces, adjustable length of pull, adjustable stock pad height, and adjustable bag riders to make sure that that fit is perfect for the shooter. But what is a lot of the time down to personal preference is the comfort of some of these uh, rifles. And this Vision Gen 2 cheek pad I find perfectly comfortable. It's shaped and contoured, nice and narrow so it can get right underneath your cheekbone and you can sit quite comfortably on the rifle looking down the optic. But one of the things that I found that enhances the comfort of this rifle and the previous three rifles I've owned is this, which is the Weebad Mini Stock Pad, and they're available at C2 Precision in the UK. And all they are is they are uh, a suede felty type feeling material that's uh, on a fairly sturdy, rugged piece of material with some Velcro tabs that wrap around your cheek piece. Now, from the box, uh, these will come with slightly longer uh, Velcro tabs than are required, which can be quite um, helpful if you're gonna do something like build up your cheek piece a little bit before you wanna put something like these on. Uh, so if you put some sniper tape over the top to build up a bit of padding, or something like a Hoptic USA uh, stick-on cheek piece, or something like that, um, on top of your original cheek piece, then you're still gonna have the length within the Velcro to be able to wrap it round. Now, the one thing that I've noticed uh, about these uh, mini stock pads is they're not only just a little bit more comfort to rest your face on, a little bit more padding, a little bit of a softer material, um, they also transfer a lot less uh, heat or cold when you're in the extreme weather. Uh, just this weekend, we were out in the rain. It wasn't particularly cold, but certainly things were getting wet. This wasn't transferring any of that through the cheek. I've shot in minus five, minus six degrees Celsius, which again, isn't necessarily extreme for some countries, but certainly in the UK, it's down there. This wasn't cold at all on my cheek. I've shot in 30 plus degrees last year. Um, in one of the uh, Precision Rifle Series UK matches. And again, this wasn't hot, whereas certainly some ABS plastics and things like that, that the cheek pieces on various stocks and chassis systems are made out of today can transfer that heat in the extreme conditions, and this stops that. Uh, so extremely comfortable, reduces any heat or cold transfer, and you can still customise it to... Uh, with the, the fit to fit more padding in underneath should you wish to. Uh, now these are available for various chassis systems uh, and rifle stocks and uh, factory rifles. Uh, if you go to C2 Precision's website there's a list of them that they have in stock or have had in stock uh, on the website but if you go to Webad's website you'll see that there are tons and tons of availability options as well as several colours um, if Josh doesn't have them in at C2 Precision, give him a shout on one of his social media channels or ring him at the shop and I'm sure he'll be able to order these in for you. Now the one negative that I will round off with uh, is that this uh, oversized wee bad logo at the back can be a little bit annoying whilst you're trying to get your cheek on the rifle. So I tend to tuck mine right in underneath and get it tucked in out of the way. I'm sure if you wanted to have something more permanent solution, you could either unstitch it, albeit I think the stitching comes all the way through, so don't unstitch it, but you could certainly cut uh, the, the material of the logo if you wanted to, of the label, um, quite tight to that stitching and just make sure that it's not gonna uh, come too close to the stitching that you're gonna thread it or de-thread it um, from the cheek piece. But other than that, superb bit of kit, which just improves that like 1% of uh, addition to the rifle uh, system, but it makes it a hell of a lot more comfortable, especially if you're gonna be on the rifle for a long period of time. Having something a little bit softer and something that's not gonna transfer the, the, the cold, it also does a little bit to reduce a little bit of um, any sort of felt recoil or vibration coming through the chassis system, if there is any whatsoever. Certainly uh, in this, there isn't a hell of a lot. In my old accuracy, it was National AT chassis before it, uh, in the original chassis, it was a lot wider cheek piece, 
Um, so underneath that, I had built up a little bit of um, uh, like sniper tape and a Hoptic USA pad just to give it a little bit of a different contour and the one that was designed for that still fit around nicely. And likewise on my Tig Attack A1, there was plenty of room to fit more padding underneath if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, so head to c2precision.co.uk, check out their wee bad range uh, and specifically these at mini stock pads. Take care.